name's Simon. I was born in the UK, a place called Blackburn. My artist name is Cracked Ink. I kind of almost regret it a little bit, but now I've kind of been painting for 20 years, it's, it's kind of stuck. <laughs> So for a living, I, I would say I'm an art, a full-time artist, you know. Paint murals and walls for a, for a living and for fun, you know. I mean, most of it, even though it's a job, it's, it's total fun. And I studied my degree in my hometown, which was in graphic design. And that's when I first started painting. A new guy started on my course in the second year, and he was in graffiti. And yeah, um, I started, you know, hanging out with him a lot up till three or four in the morning, doing stuff we shouldn't have been doing, going out, you know, getting stoned, and learning different different things. And I, I, rem I actually remember the first time I went out painting, you know, under a train bridge, you know, trying to paint with cans that I'd never really, never painted before. I loved it straight away. When I was painting back in the UK, you know, it was still pretty raw. The most frustrating thing about it is, is taking your idea of piece of paper onto a wall because not only you've got to use a different medium because the pencil you're used to using the pencil you know we kind of use that from being a kid I think that was like the graphic designer in me you know I really wanted to get the image like super accurate and and that was a huge frustration for me for like probably the first five six years of painting because it was never quite there you know so I, I just just really just practiced and practiced and practiced and consistently used the same paint. And, and I've been a, a 94 guy for the past, you know, 15, 16 years. There's a, there's a cap, there's a standard cap, 94 cap. It's a skinny cap. So it's basically in the end of it is a smaller dot. And, and you can achieve like really nice skinny lines. So yeah, I use the standard 94 and I use something called New York fat. And that is not super fat, but you can get really, you actually can get really nice medium to thin lines as well with it, but you can actually get some real nice chunky lines. And I would use that for like filling an area. I'd say for the first 10, 12 years of me painting, it was solely aerosol. I was really kind of, focused on just wanting to paint with aerosol. And as my work evolved, I picked up the dreaded brush, you know, and started having to play with that. And I'm not foreign to a brush, you know, I grew up creatively, I've studied for six years painting, and so it was just something that I've not used for a while. But I love it now. Like, I love painting with cans, but it's a, it's a total different feeling, you know, like I'll put on some high octane kind of music. It's just it's that vibe, you know, like I grew up painting to, to that kind of music, so. But then when I pick up a brush, I just like like to knock it down like so much, and it's kind of like more zen kind of feeling, you know, like I just put on some real mellow beats, and you kind of get into that zone, just trying to work them shades and stuff. It's a good, good feeling, both sides of it is good feeling. I spend less time these days just treading water, like, and if I don't feel like I want to sketch, I won't sketch. Whereas I think back in the day, I would have made myself sketch, you know, like, but I feel like these days, like, I mean, I love sketching. And that's where it all, you know, that's where it starts for me, that the ideas are the most important thing. Um, but I, I feel like I only do it when I want to do it now, which is a really good thing. If you're trying to force, trying to force yourself to, to create things, then don't bother. You know, it should be something that comes to you and feel good. And um, I mean, I'm always doing something towards my art. Always. It's constant. I'm totally addicted. Totally. <laughs>